If I see you in public and you call me Captain Ezekiel, I'm actually kneecapping you. I am Captain Ezekiel, the speedrunner, streamer, uh, sometimes melee player, but mostly speedrunner. Right now, I actively run Resident Evil 7. Uh, originally was like the first Resident Evil game I played in a long time. Uh, when it first launched, and I loved the game a lot, and like there was an achievement to beat it in four hours, so I was like, oh, it's really fast. And then I, I went and looked up what actual speedrun times were, and at the time it was like an hour and twenty nine minutes. Or something. It's crazy. And then I decided I wanted to start practicing it, so I practiced it and learned how to do it. And then after speedrunning one game, and you, you start to love it, and you're like, I really want to do another game. And then I loved Diablo two for my whole entire life, so I picked that one up. And then Resident Evil two remake, I picked that up when I used to run that. So. It's just a matter of like, I love those games. So I also love speedrunning. So it just kind of, they met in the middle. I used to have the record a few months ago for Resident Evil 7's any percent new game plus easy category. That record was like two years in the making. It was crazy. And like one day I was just sitting there streaming it and I had like a really good pace run that died horribly. And I was like, well, it's over. I don't want to run anymore, but I was like, I'll do one more run, whatever. And I did another run and just, just gold split after gold split I kept getting. Oh man, if I mess anything up, it's over. And especially the game that optimized, it's like, it's crazy. It was almost a perfect run and I had a 127.44. That record stood for about three months. And then eventually that got broken by someone named Ross. Ross, he still currently has the record because me and him were competing for it for a while and the game's time got brought down tremendously. So I don't currently have that record anymore. I still sit in second place for that one um, as I've been grinding Diablo 2, which I, I think I currently hold no records, but I'm top 30 time for Diablo 2 and I started running that about actively two weeks ago. Nyx Issues is a, uh, he's a knife only speedrunner mostly. He's very popular actually. The reason Nyx is like crazy special is that like, so we're doing all this on mouse and keyboard on a PC, right? Like PC has its advantages, mouse and keyboard obviously have their advantages. It's way faster, but um, because you could turn FPS games in general faster with the mouse, but he plays on a controller. He just likes playing on a controller. An Xbox One controller actually. He plays on a controller for every game he plays. And he almost got a sub-128 in Resident Evil 7 with a controller. Like, most people will never get sub-130 on mouse and keyboard. He did it with a controller, and that's... Wait. There are certain mechanics you can't abuse with a, with a controller just because it's too slow. And he was almost able to do it. And he's like, he's just a super entertaining dude that I, like, met one day while we were while I was, like, running the game, and I was watching his streams, and all the times he's playing, I was like, this guy's insane. He runs knife-only Madhouse, and it's like that... One second. Boss fights in knife-only Madhouse take, like, 15 minutes each. And it's like... I, it's crazy, it blows my mind. And then I'm running for uh, ESA together, which is uh, the European Speedrun Assembly, which is, they usually do ESA like summer, uh, but they're doing an online one, which my, my Resident Evil 7 time did get in. So I'll be running that um, April 7th, or yeah, April 7th at eight o'clock Central Standard Time. And I'll be running the game then. So that, that one I'm looking forward to a lot. I am WH Turtle. I'm starting support for Ivy Gaming. Um, my real name's Nick, but nobody calls me that. Everyone just calls me Turtle. If you really want to piss me off, call me Nick. Never thought of myself as a YouTuber. I always did. Uh, I always did Twitch, but then that wasn't. I wasn't like super consistent with that after a while. Um, so I'm like, you know what? If I don't stream, I could at least just record the gameplay and put it up on YouTube. And it's like the same thing. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I just self-taught with like this really basic free software and. Uh, Get some, get some hype music in there. Sync up some, some Baron steels and whatnot. Some music, and uh, you got yourself a little montage. And, and, maybe, and maybe I'm just not looking in the right spots. But there's like not a ton of League of Legends content on YouTube, as far as like, like aside from shitty montages and like Twitch clip highlights and all that stuff. Uh, and I remember, I forget exactly who did it, but they did like a couple years ago, they had like a streamer showdown thing with like Pokimane was on it and a couple other people. And it was just, it was like a game show basically with League of Legends trivia. And I'm like, that's cool. Let's do that. Um, and with this uh, virus going around, I had nothing better to do. So come up with some questions, ask them. I'm actually, uh, I have something planned for this weekend that's along the same lines, but it's a little different format. I'm looking forward to it, so tune into that this weekend.
My name is Neil Febble. Uh, I formerly go by Cineboo242 when it comes to esports. I've been a longtime player of League of Legends, Super Smash Brothers, Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Hearthstone, pretty much anything that falls within the realm of esports I've kind of dabbled in and found some success, some failures, some other stuff. But uh, here we are, Cineboo. I occasionally do just quick little clips, uh, highlights, montages, nothing super serious, you just like you know, like little sound bites and stuff, 30 seconds here and there, a nice triple kill, solid dodges, a nice clean zero death and smash, you know, just kind of stuff that looks nice. Uh, I have a Twitter, uh, at Cineboo242 is uh, my Twitter. You can find a lot of the stuff I upload there. And then I also have a YouTube channel that I'm starting to kind of revive. I used to have like a thousand subscribers and used to do smash content like daily back in like 2010. And then like late high school and college hit, I kind of dropped that stuff. But I have some projects in the works. I'm working on uh, like a really serious montage with like some really intense editing for Smash. That's going to be uh, really intense. It's going to be a collection of stuff I've done uh, like in-person tournaments over the last like year and a half or so. So that stuff's all going to be like clips from like official production. And it's going to be like I'm paying a couple people and then working on myself to come together and edit this. So we're going to look for that on my Twitter and YouTube soon. And then uh, just general League of Legends stuff too, kind of uh, similar to we've seen clips from Turtle and stuff like that. I've been kind of throwing together a few montages like that that I just kind of have saved on the desktop. So I'm thinking that maybe once I drop this highlight video, uh, that maybe if that picks up some traction, I'm going to start bleeding some content into the YouTube channel. So if you know if people are watching, I'm going to keep putting out that content. Just Like I said, just quick little stuff, easy to enjoy, easy, easy to uh, consume. So uh, look forward to it. Yeah, Cineboo, both fighting game and MOBA content coming soon to a channel near you. I am coach of Ivy Gaming Black uh, that the Ivy Gaming organization currently hosts. And I handle their drafting process, basically telling them what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong and what they need to improve on. We went into Upsurge. Basically our roster as it is now, we made a AD carry change like four days before Upsurge started. And then we moved uh, Wizzy from top to AD carry. And then we brought, brought in uh, Ricky, otherwise known as uh, Raftalia. We, we had really, really good success. Um, we lost our first game, that was ugly. And then like, we just never dropped the game afterwards. So uh, I'm really proud of the guys. Unfortunately, uh, midway through the season, we parted ways with Captain Ezekiel. Going into playoffs now, uh, we've moved uh, Raftalia down to mid lane and we brought in someone else who is uh, really, really cool. Uh, he goes by Reptar and he is uh, just a really good player. So we're really excited for uh, the start of playoffs now. I'm feeling confident in our team. Uh, we've had some struggles in scrims the last couple weeks, but I feel like it's nothing There's that no can't be you. fixed no with a little more determination. I think that we've had a track record of not doing so hot uh, in scrims, and then when the games really matter, we do. We turn it on. So I'm 100% confident in my team. Keep going through upsurge playoffs because it's it's a long it's a long process to get to the finals. So we have a lot of work to do, um, and it all starts with tonight. So that's that's what I'm looking forward to right now. Been on a couple teams, you know, always grinding the ladder. I uh, peaked at D2 100 LP next season, so we're looking for D1 maybe Masters this season and currently playing with Ivy. Uh, we've got playoffs coming up next week. We did really good in our groups. Uh, I think we ended up 7-1. and one. We stomped a bunch of games. Great statistics, great gold per minute, great KP, all this different stuff. So I'm super excited heading into this playoff match. Hopefully we kind of stomp everybody as a, my official my official kind of first introduction to amateur professional league of legends with this tournament here so hoping we bring it on home